America's Invitation. We've got a Vulpix, another one that I would love to have if Pokemon were real. A Kadabra, one of my favorite in the game series. And <laughs> heck yeah. Hi there folks, uh, normally you guys don't get to see this much of the desk, nor do you see it from this angle. Um, we're going to be opening up this Pokemon box. Uh, this was the best way I could think to record this. Normally I use this boom uh, and that gets you guys pretty close to the action. Um, I will probably crop it down at times so that it's a little easier to see things and i will also try and open any packs directly in front of the camera probably with this but i wanted to go ahead and get me opening the box on camera at least to the best of my abilities man i don't know how well that's coming across but that is crazy holographic oh wow Okay. Wow. Okay, so right off the bat, right off the bat, we have these awesome Mewtwo cards and Mew cards. That is really cool. We also have what appears to be a play mat. Is there an easy way of opening that? Oh, that's cool. Okay, so it's basically the exact same print. It's on the front of the box. It's one of those neoprene play mats. I'll see if I can find a high quality image of this and maybe we'll use that as the thumbnail. I do think that this back side is supposed to prop the back of the box open. It's not really doing a very good job, if I'm honest. So we've got some kind of deck box We've got some of those plastic collector coins, and we've got some, I assume, what are supposed to be Mew-themed dice, presumably for whatever counters you may need. If you decide to get one of these for yourself, uh, not all of the package is easy to open, so you will need an X-Acto knife to get into some of it. So we've got, it's that same generic plastic that a lot of these trading card companies use. Velcro insert with a single divider. I would have liked to have seen some sleeve protectors in here for the cards that come with it. I think that would have been a nice additional touch, but beggars can't be choosers. Each side contains one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs of cards. I'm not sure if these are singles or if they are small packs. They appear to be metal plated cards. So these are really nice collector cards. I really like that. Uh, they feel embossed, which is a really nice touch. And it appears that, yes, these are individual single cards. So our card on the end, and our card that was on the other end, this Mew and Mewtwo, are in fact real cards, whereas this is more of a collector metal 10 kind of a thing. I go back in the box because like I said, uh, once upon a time, uh, these were provided by Mushroom Guy. Thank you so much for providing these to the channel for us to open. Uh, this has been a really cool experience. And for as much as I have loved opening the cards, I know you're going to love receiving all of these cards back to you. So thank you so much for providing this channel with this opportunity to show this off to everybody at home. Now, in addition to the Pokemon cards that have come in that box, uh, I also have these Japanese ones as well. 
We won't be opening these up in today's video, but they will be coming soon. Uh, I should go out on a limb and basically inform you guys, if this is your first time watching my channel, we are not a Pokemon card game channel, nor are we a card game channel. I do plastic miniatures, that is what I do. Miniature painting is the primary topic of this channel. So when we do eventually run out of Pokemon products to open, I'm not sure if we will be opening more. So just keep that in mind if you guys want to follow along for more of this stuff. Uh, there's a, a limited amount of it, uh, but I still probably have about another seven or eight boxes of this stuff left to go. So enough to make quite a few more videos. So any case, let's move on. Now, similar to how I have been doing the last few videos, uh, there will be jump cuts in between me opening up the card packs. Got some good classic Pokemon. Ooh, Nidoking. I really like that pose. I was always a, a, a Nidorando and, and Nido Queen um, fan. I just liked the uh, moves that they learned, but that was always just uh, my choice based on the fact that I only ever played the video games. And here's our first code card. Ooh, I love that Squirtle. A lot of the cards where the Pokemon are in motion, I really like. Ho oh, ho. I remember when they started doing that artwork. That's a cool one. And our basic energy. Lots of fossils in this set. Coughing. Hey, I love that Venusaur. That's really cool. I like that full art and our basic energy. Lots of water types. Ooh, I kinda like that Gengar. And a holographic basic energy. That's really funny. So that's the second one I've pulled total in all the cards that I've opened so far. I really like that one. The artwork is interesting. Stormy! And our basic energy. On its a uh, Pikachu. Doug Trio, Pidgeotto, Weezing. Weezing was always one of my favorite in the television series. He just cracked me up and made me laugh a lot as a kid. Voltorb, Krabby. Slowbro and Kabutops, I wanna say is how you pronounce him basic energy and another code card one of those um, early 3d renderings of Pidgeotto Magmar, Shuller, Bellsprout, Tentacruel, War Turtle. we am getting a lot of these uh, Kabutos and another Nitto King our basic energy and our code card so that was our first eight. Let's see what we get for our second eight. Ponyta, Hunter. Oh, I like that hard work for the Hunter. Arcanine. And Beedrill. I, I, I hate bees and wasps in real life, but I always really liked Beedrill. I thought it was a really neat Pokemon our basic energy. Diglett, Drowsy, Bulbasaur, Slowpoke, Pinsar, uh, Golbat, Bulbasaur. Wait, is it, did we get two Bulbasaurs in this? Yeah. 
Gloom and Mr. Mime and our basic energy. Poliwag, Pikachu, Farfetch'd, Shelter, Golbat. Trainer cards, Abra. Got a Mankey and a Nine Tails EX. I love the artwork for that Nine Tails. If Pokemon were real, I would definitely want a Nine Tails, that's for sure. And a basic energy. And here's our code card. Growlithe, Geodude, Jigglypuff, Staryu, some trainer cards, version, Exidor, Golbat, Jolteon, and our basic energy. Can you tell I used to play with the original 150 more than I've played with anything else? Or I should say the original 151. Our Helix Fossil, a Slowpoke, Magmar, Horsey, Persian, Muck. Oh, I kind of like the action pose on that Muck. Uh, Zubat, Drowsy, Gengar, our basic energy, another full art uh, holographic basic energy. So that's our third one. And a code card. Charmander, Sparrow, Rhydon, Magikarp. I always really liked Magikarp. Muck, uh, Venomoth, Rap uh, Rapidash. That's a really cool one. Uh, Chansey, a Machoke. That's a neat pose. I like that. And a Weezing in our basic energy. Our last two packs. Let's see if we get something cool. Abra. Diglett, Drowsy, Bulbasaur, Venomoth, Rapidash, uh, Nidorina, um, Growlithe. Ooh, I like the Munchoke. That's a cool one. I really like that. And a Starmie. We got two holographics and our basic energy and our code card. All right, here's the last pack. We got an Oddish, a Mankey, a Meowth. An executor. Eradicate. We've got Erica's Invitation. We've got a Vulpix, another one that I would love to have if Pokemon were real. A Kadabra, one of my favorite in the game series. And a Mewtwo. Heck yeah. So we got the guaranteed Mewtwo that came with the box. And then we got this. Now, I don't know if this is a guaranteed pool when you buy the box. But that is such a cool artwork. For Mewtwo, that's really cool. I like that. And we got a holographic purple energy, which does lead me to think that maybe it's an intentional pull, but who knows? Here you guys go, our final code card. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, may your display case always be filled and your pile of shame never run empty. Until next time.